I just destroyed the iMac Pro. I was trying to work on some new graphics and design in Final Cut Pro 10 and 12 or 14 layers of text that was animated. And I know I shouldn't be doing it in Final Cut Pro, I should be doing it in Motion or After Effects, but I was just experimenting with it and sometimes I like to do all my text in uh, Final Cut Pro. I have this uh, 2011 iMac over here and on the side I have a 2013 MacBook Pro. The problem was that it was eating the RAM so much and the processor was like 20% utilized. The stack transitions just completely obliterated um, these two machines. So I went to the Apple store figuring maybe it's time for an upgrade and let me check out the iMac Pro. And uh, I was expecting to kind of just chew this project away. It was the base model, it had 32 gigs of RAM, which still isn't really enough. And I loaded the project up, like the first like four or five layers, it got through fine. And then six, seven, eight, nine, just keep adding it up. And at one point it just, it froze completely. I was surprised, couldn't move the mouse, couldn't do anything. Sometimes you could wait it out and it'll kick back in. No, it just said, I'm leaving, I'm done. I don't want anything to do with this project. It shut off and maybe 10 seconds later, it came back on. So I loaded up Final Cut Pro again and I loaded the project in and I looked at the um, activity monitor and it was using uh, almost 100 or so gigs of RAM. It's trying to use like a page memory and stuff. So it's, it's pushing as much as it could at it, maxed out everything, destroyed it. If I want to keep this editing style, I'm going to have to kind of cut back some of the things. It's a little bit of a pain. Uh, I may wait for the um, new Mac Pro to come out next year, I think. So I just wanted to share with you that the iMac Pro can be beaten with a basic project. This project was only 1080p, not 4K, 1080p. Maybe you guys can help me make my uh, next purchasing decision, but um, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. I'll catch you on the next one.